Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded Coast Salish territory. And today uh, is <laughs> a budget plan. It's January 2021. Happy New Year. Um, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. So um, you might not notice if you're new here. If you are, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're coming back, I appreciate you so much. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you would hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, I would love it if you would like it. Um, here's what we're going to do a little differently. Normally, I just jump in. This is probably my easiest video of the month, and I, I'm not going to make it too complicated. But um, I'm just going to kind of start with a few intentions. <laughs> Um, so before I go through the budget, I have a couple of things to share. One is not really an intention, um, but it is that I realized, um, because in 2020, uh, in response to COVID and stuff, I actually made it so that I am a month ahead. So the money that I'm using in January, I actually made in December. And that means that my 2021 projection, uh, while it is still extremely useful tool, um, I realized that, you know, I kind of projected out January's income in January. So um, using that guide to my budget will actually be starting in February because that's when I'll be using January's money. So for January 2021, um, which in this month I should make about $3,500, so $500 more than my base pay, um, but I will be using December's money, so I'm going to budget off $3,000. Okay, intentions. Um, one, my intention is to get my grocery budget under this month. I would like to actually be $100 under which is going to take some fancy footwork. Um, but I think I could do it. And if I don't do it, then that's okay too. I've um, allocated this the usual amount, but I'm hoping to be under and have that roll over and be able to be used for the CSA that I buy into this year. So $100 under in groceries. And to that end, I will be sharing a plan, prep, and what I ate videos for accountability. So um, doing kind of like uh, videos I've done in the past where I show you my plan, I show you my haul, and I show you a little bit of what I actually made. So some, I think it used to be like my weekly lunch meal prep, um, but I might just show you a few meals since we're not. I'm working from home mostly, so... Uh, and two, I'm going to make a conscientious effort to shop my pantry as much as possible. I definitely have built up some stores over this COVID time. And my second intention for my budget is to overall come in under. I would love to make my 125 back, um, which is that was my overage in December's budget. So I was over 125 in my December's budget. And that came out of the unexpected income of Christmas money and stimulus money. And I would like to make that back. So those are my intentions for the month. We'll see what happens. Let's check out my budget um, in January. Pretty standard stuff, planning, budgeting off of 3000 Um I will be actually upping my sharing. So I am recommitting to my 7%, so $150 in sharing and uh, $60 in my 2% to art. Um, I won't be doing any additional savings um, except my interest income. Roth will be my usual 500. Uh, actually, I have a thousand that I need to dump in at some point, some point, but that won't really be in my budget because it's just extra money. Um, it's actually, my emergency fund has, it's not reflected here because I moved money around in my bank accounts to do it, but basically my emergency fund has $13,000 in it, and I'm going to be taking 1000 of that and dropping it into my 2020 Roth IRA to finish it off. Um, the reason is because I take home 3000 a month. I, in my head, you know, my original emergency fund was 10000 And when I increased it to four months, I increased it to 13000 But really, four months is 12000 So I'm going to use that $1,000 to finish funding my 2020 Roth. 
Uh, and like I was saying, starting in January, we're back to our $500 cost averaging. Rent and other household things are all the same. Daily living, like I said, groceries is going to be 300 but I've now made this a fund, so I'm hoping to roll over 100 into February. Restaurants is 100 uh, I'm not trying to challenge myself too much in other ways. Uh, household is $20. Uh, Kittles is two oh six eighty five. That was just like the little leftover at the end. Um, car stuff is the same. I'm keeping gas at sixty. Entertainment six fifty five. Fun is a hundred. Um, so I, I really am giving myself room to, uh, you know, not have things be too tight. But again, I'm hoping to come in under. So we'll see how that attitude gets me. So we'll see what that attitude gets me. Um, health fund. I don't know why I put 10 in, but sure, 10 can go there. Gifts, I'm doing 100. It's my mom's birthday. It actually was the first, and I haven't um, gotten her a gift yet. So I'm planning to do that. And then in February, my birthday is in February. And, uh, my sibling's birthday is in February. My niece's birthday is in February. There's a lot of February birthdays. Oh, and my sister-in-law's birthday is in January. So the very end of January, the beginning of February. Sorry, Carrie. Anyway, getting ready. And that's it. I don't have any extra this month, but I will make extra in January and I will have extra to do more things with in February. So yeah, that's my plan for the month. Um, let me know down below how you are doing, what you've got planned, and I would love, I will see you. I would love to see you in the next video. Bye.